how did you get involved with CAPG as a founding member? Well, when I started here, actually, Neil told me about CAPG and thought I would be a good candidate to be the advisor. He had been advising for years and decided to pass the torch to me. So I took the job. And uh, I understand that you were one of the late arrivals, if you will, before CAPG got moved to the ETC. Actually, I started with CAPG just as they were leaving the PE building and moving here to the ATC. Obviously, we had an old black box theater at the uh, Phys Ed building, mm -hmm. and when we moved to the new ATC, we helped design this beautiful studio and outfit it with the latest uh, state-of-the-art equipment. So I wouldn't say I was a late arrival. I'd say I was an early arrival for the ATC building. Mm -hmm. What uh, did he say what exactly that you had that he liked in terms of no. <laughs> Actually, Neil felt my background in television would be advantageous for CAPG. They were looking to put together a professional style newscast. And since I spent 30 years in the news business, I guess he felt I had the qualifications. So I was happy to take the job. And in 2007, the bus took off, and here it is now. Right. Uh, it's been a little bit of a rocky road here, uh, I'm sorry, now and then, because, you know, when we started out, we had an old teleprompter system, and we only had one teleprompter, which meant that we couldn't really tape things live, or live to tape, because students just couldn't memorize their stories. So we actually shot one anchor doing four or five stories, then we'd stop, and we'd move the teleprompter system to the other camera, and then focus on the second anchor and pick up after that. It was always um, a program that needed to be edited. Whereas in the last two, three years, now that we have a full studio with three teleprompters, um, it makes it much easier to do a full newscast taped live or live to tape. And so over the years with Cap G, what do you think would, would be what is one thing that the club will be perhaps best be remembered for in terms of its long-lasting legacy? I think Cap G will be known for producing a lot of talented students who made it in the uh, television and broadcasting field. We've had a lot of people who got their first start because of Cap G and they were able to parlay that experience into an internship and from that internship, they were able to get a foot in the door at a small market or even a media market TV station. So Cap G will be known as an incubator for starting a lot of careers. And that incubator will be turning 30 next year. Well, so the baby has grown up <laughs> in that incubator and, you know, well, needs more of a Chevy Corvette instead of a little incubator. So.